Hello, uh, this is uh, I Go uh, Travel with uh, Don Barnett. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna have a little fun here uh, with some true-false questions. The first uh, true-false question is uh, about a little song, and I'll just hum the tune for it. Uh, and uh, here it is. Is this short song about the U.S.-Mexico border? If not, where would it be? All right, listen to the song. Here we go. Pour me another tequila, Sheila. Take off that red satin dress. I crossed the border and I beat the dealer. So pour me another tequila, Sheila. I uh, still have my head in Texas. I just got back from there. And uh, those Texas uh, videos uh, should be coming on uh, uh, onto uh, the home page uh, in a few weeks, uh, in a short while. You know the key uh, to find things uh, of uh, my videos is to go to the home page. Uh, maybe it's in one of your favorites. You can click on there to get to the home page, or you can Google it, uh, all lowercase, uh, no spaces, and put uh, .com at the end. And uh, what you type in is I go travel with Don Barnett dot, uh, com. Okay, the uh, true-false questions. Uh, if you uh, want to find some more uh, information about uh, the true-false question, uh, the key is, as I said before, go to the home page. And once you're there, you can click to the right place and find the video. Now, to find the home page, uh, like I said before, you can Google it. Uh, uh, don't forget to put the dot .com at the end, all lowercase, and uh, no spaces. I go travel with DonBarnett.com. Another way you can do it, if you're uh, already on YouTube, uh, you can uh, go to the video description that's uh, with the travelogue that's in YouTube and just click directly on it. But otherwise, uh, you're probably better off to often uh, Google it or, uh, and make it one of your favorites. Okay, let's take a look at some of the uh, true-false questions. What do you think of this uh, true or false uh, statement? Mexican culture basically is consistent throughout the country. What do you think? True or false? I'll give you uh, the answer in a second. This is false. Uh, Mexico is a big country. It has mountains and deserts and jungle and sea coasts and uh, a great deal of variety. I made a good uh, travelogue on uh, Mexican culture, kind of an overview of the whole thing. And if you're interested, you can see here, uh, go to the home page, get reoriented, uh, uh, click on the uh, travelogue videos and uh, uh, Look in the section there under the Mayan Riviera. They're in alphabetical order. And uh, in the Mayan Riviera section, uh, go to the video that says uh, uh, something about the culture of Mexico. Do you think that this is true or false? Uh, Chichen Itza, the famous archaeological site, uh, is now closed uh, due to ruins deterioration. No, 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 this is false. What is closed is your uh, ability to climb up to the top of it. That's against the law now because uh, boots over the years have uh, damaged the uh, site. However, the rest of it is open and uh, busy as can be for business. Uh, you can find the travelogue on uh, Chichen Itza, world famous uh, site. Uh, again, go back to the home page, get oriented, and uh, click on the travelogue videos, uh, the, uh, Mayan Riviera section, and uh, you'll find the uh, video on Chichen Itza. All right, we're uh, back into Canada now. Uh, we're talking about Quebec City, true or false? Quebec City is only one of two walled cities in Canada. What do you say? True or false? Well, this statement is false. Quebec City is not one of two walled cities in Canada. It is one of one, the only walled city in Canada. And it's a great tourist uh, place uh, uh, full of uh, culture and entertainment and uh, unique stuff.
I made several travelogues uh, on uh, Montreal and Quebec City when I was down in Quebec visiting. And uh, if you're interested in uh, seeing some of those places, uh, as it says here, uh, go to the homepage and uh, click on the travelogue videos. Uh, go to the Quebec section under travelogue videos and uh, look for one of the videos on Quebec City. Uh, one in particular, uh, downtown uh, Quebec City, is really interesting. The uh, French were the first builders uh, uh, of the Panama Canal, and the Americans came along later, but uh, the French built on the canal for 20 years. Now, why were the French selected to build the Panama Canal initially? Uh, true or false? Here's the uh, statement. Uh, the French were the lowest bidder to build the Panama Canal, and that's why they got it. Would that be true or false, do you think? Well, the answer is false. It had nothing to do with the lowest bid. Uh, it had basically to do with uh, the guy who had built the Suez Canal was uh, the Frenchman Fer Fernando de Lesseps, and de Lesseps was the, the hero of the day, and if he could build a big international uh, canal across Egypt, he would be the natural uh, choice to build the one, uh, the next one, which was Panama. So that's why he was selected, um, on, on the basis of reputation. Now, how did Mr. De Lesseps and the French uh, do? Uh, they ultimately, after 20 years, failed. They floundered. And the Americans uh, took over. But why did the French flounder? What happened to De Lesseps? Well, I've got a travelogue on that. Uh, you uh, go to the home page, as it says here, uh, and uh, uh, travelogue videos, uh, click onto it, and uh, find the Panama section. They're all listed in alphabetical order. And uh, go to the French Canal video. And uh, you'll see uh, what happened under the French. Is this true or false? Polar bears wait on the shores of Hudson Bay for the seals to come ashore because that's their main feed. And that's why they're waiting at Churchill. That is false. They, the seals do not come ashore. They hang out on the ice uh, once it forms on Hudson Bay and the bears go out to them. And uh, I talk about that in that travelogue uh, on the polar bears uh, at uh, Churchill, uh, Manitoba. If you haven't seen the uh, polar bear uh, video that I made when I was there, uh, again, go back to the home page, click on the travelogue videos, uh, find the uh, Churchill section. It's again in alphabetical order. And uh, in the Churchill section, look for the polar bears video. All right, we are back down to the Mayan Riviera in Mexico. True or false? The ancient Mayan writing rivaled ancient Egyptian writing. Do you think that that could be true or is it really false? What would your uh, guess be? That statement is true. Uh, the uh, ancient uh, Mayans... Uh, also rivaled uh, the ancient Egyptians in terms of the pyramids that they built. There was a great civilization right here in North America that uh, paralleled and equaled uh, uh, things found in the Middle East and Asia and the Far Orient. I talk about this ancient writing in one of the videos. And if you're interested, you can go uh, again, get oriented at the home page, click on the travelogue videos, the Mayan Riviera section, and look for the video on Chichen Itza. Here is another uh, true-false uh, question. Uh, we're back up into northern Canada and Alaska on the Alaska Highway. The Alaska Highway uh, is reasonably good uh, uh, to drive. Or is it still full of potholes and heavy-duty dust? What do you think? This statement is basically true. Don't let anybody tell you about the wicked drive to Alaska or to the Yukon. Uh, it's basically a good uh, paved road, uh, mostly two-lane, but uh, it's as good a, a two-lane quality road. Great bridges crossing all of the rivers and the lake areas and the bays. Uh, it's, it's fine to drive. 
We can go on to the next question, uh, and you can look at the Alaska Highway later if you're interested. Again, go back to the home page, travelog videos, uh, find the Alaska Yukon section. It would be the first one under the A's. And uh, find the video on the Alaska Highway 1. I made two or three uh, videos on the highway in that country up there. Here is another true-false question, and we're down in Mexico at carnival time. In Mexico is not a good time to visit because it is a very local event. True or false? This statement is false. Uh, any carnival I've been to down there, uh, it's a, a fun time and a celebration time for everybody. And everybody is welcome, uh, local, out of town, out of country. Uh, it's just a great time to be down uh, celebrating with the folks in Mexico. Uh, if you haven't seen the video uh, on carnival time in Mexico, uh, again, uh, you can go back to the homepage, travelog videos, and... Uh, uh, go to the section on the Mayan Riviera and look for the video that uh, is titled about scuba diving because that video also talks about uh, the, one of the carnivals that I was at when I was there. Is this true or false? When the Americans took over the building of the Panama Canal, as it says here, a postage stamp was a major factor on where the U.S., would actually build the Panama Canal. Could that postage stamp story be true or false? Yes, yes, it is true. A postage stamp was a major factor in determining where the Americans would build the canal, whether it would be in uh, next door in Nicaragua or down in Panama uh, along the, the canal route that the French had started. Again, uh, it's an interesting kind of a little twist in history. If you've seen that travelogue, uh, you know what we're talking about. But if you haven't, you might be interested at some point. Go to the home page to travelogue videos and uh, uh, under the Panama section, uh, look for the video, The U.S. Era. And... Uh, you'll see why that postage stamp uh, was a factor on where the canal was eventually built. This uh, true-false statement is about uh, the Yukon uh, and Alaska. They had a big shipwreck up there along the coast of Alaska that did a tremendous amount of damage. But here's one of the things that they say about it. Now, but it may not be true. The shipwreck of the SS Sophia which was one of the ships, changed the law of the sea. If you saw that travelogue, uh, you'll know what the answer is. True or false? What do you say? The uh, shipwreck of the SS Sophia was a disaster for Dawson City in the Yukon. And uh, it is true, it did change the law of the sea. Before the disaster, the captain had ultimate authority. But after that disaster, the law changed. If you haven't seen the video uh, and you're interested to uh, find out just why and how the law of the sea changed, uh, go to the home page. Uh, again, click on the travelogue videos uh, uh, section. Uh, go to the Alaska Yukon section and look for the video that's titled Alaska Earthquake and SS Sophia. They were both disasters for the North. All right, you Canadian history types. Uh, true or false? Britain won the battle on the Plains of Abraham. That's true. But lost the second battle? Was there a second battle? True or false? Britain won the battle on the Plains of Abraham, but they lost the second battle. True or false? What do you say? This uh, statement is true. Not everyone knows about the second battle. But if the French won the second battle, uh, why did the British take over? If you've seen the travelogue that we made on this uh, topic, uh, you know the answer. But uh, if you want to check it out again or for the first time, uh, go to the home page, click on the travelogue videos, uh, 
uh, go to the Quebec section and look for the video Hotel Frontenac and the Second Great Battle. Anyone thinking of uh, cycling down in the southwest USA had better pay attention to this one here. In the southwest USA, it is quite dangerous because of rattlesnakes and cactus to cycle in. Would that be true or false? Absolutely false. Uh, there are cactus and there are snakes uh, in the desert, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, not a factor for cycling in uh, at all. It's a great place to cycle and a very popular place to cycle. I made uh, several videos uh, where I talked about cycling in the desert, but I did not make a video just on cycling per se. However, one of the travelogues, uh, you can find it uh, in, in the Snowbirds uh, uh, Phoenix video. Just go to the home page, click on travelogue videos, go to the Arizona section, and look for the video on Snowbirds in the Phoenix area. We saw this slide at the beginning of the video uh, about the true-false questions. If you're interested in some of the information uh, that uh, you thought of as you looked at the uh, true-false questions, again, as I said at the beginning, go to the home page. You can Google I Go Travel with uh, DonBarnett.com directly, or if you're already in YouTube, uh, there's a video description uh, in with each of the uh, travelogues. Okay, that was a little bit of fun. Uh, those uh, videos, uh, I have one per week coming on for the next uh, several weeks. Uh, that'll take us on into the summer. So until uh, then, uh, if you like what you saw, subscribe, a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you down the road. Adios.